So lads, dev vlog, not give me an ass for 40 minutes. And number one hacker DBG has got the damn dev vlog early, lads. We are number one hacker in the 2K community. How I'll, I'll give I'll give the sauce, lads. I'll give the sauce. Now I hacked it. I just typed in season two launch into the URL bar for courtside report. He's every year. It is the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same as last year. No, it's gone. Pretty sure it's the same link as last year, except you type in a three instead of a two. But lines, saddle up for season two. I like the logo. Season two, starring Devin Booker. It appears that season seven was the last time we were going to get a named season. I'm guessing everybody... No, it's just JD. It's literally just JD tweeting it out. Nobody's, nobody's tweeted out the link, which 2K have posted themselves. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. I ran right out of bed to do this. I was in bed. My sleep pattern is on US East time. I wake up at like 10 a.m. US East time normally. It's bringing it right from bed to this. This season's gonna feel like the Wild West. Phoenix Suns, Mavs hoping. To, the, the Phoenix Suns hoping to win. What are we talking about here? The Phoenix Suns are winning a championship. I'm sorry, Daddy Suns fans. You're not winning this year. You're just not winning. That is a funny line right there. The Phoenix Suns. Oh, Booker. Oh, Booker, Booker, Booker. Season 2, more apparel. Oh, I thought you were going to actually be able to use J. Cole. That would be cool. So, Season 2 is going to be on my team. I mean, the trade is already there, is it? My team, Devin Booker. Okay. New rewards, events, moments, and very first Dark Matter cards. I mean, as long as it's only Dr. J, I'm cool with it. As long as it's only like Dr. J or Duncan. Season is level 40 is featured Devin Booker. He's going to be really good. He's going to be really, really good. Begin your journey with level 1 award free. Agent Nicole Yoke, who gives a damn. Fresh hours back to back, who gives a damn. Um, also getting Emerald Trey Jones. Sapphire Bogdan Bogdanovich. He could be all right. Ruby Michael Thompson. Couldn't care less. Um, there's going to be a diamond and a pink. Or there's going to be uh, Amethyst definitely somewhere as well. At level 32, you are in a non auction version of the Amethyst Zion. Oh! Oh! That sucks. That really sucks. Oh my god, that sucks. Can we not just get another Zion Williamson? Just give us a new card art or something and give him an extra half badge. That really sucks. The card will also have a dynamic duo with Caesar and with Emerald Trey Jones. Like, we're really getting it. He's 5k MT. <laughs> like, he's 5k MT right now. And he's a, he's a storyline. No. No. Is there any of from training Zion's college days? I don't even mind it that much. It's just that he's 5k and he's already a card. Oh, I don't hate it. I, I mean, I personally hate it. I don't think it's an objectively bad idea. I personally hate it. Getting back into modern NBA. Let's talk about moments. With 20 season one cards, representing current cards. Um, token mark be easier than ever before. It looks like that could be the only token mark. Moment agendas for rewards, XP, and special moment rewards plays. We need as many of these as possible. Please, we need as many of these as possible. Keep an eye out in game as moment agendas and rewards are being added after big performances. Please, please don't, don't let us down here because this is a this is a big thing. This is a big factor in this game. I mean, I think it's a big factor in general people's enjoyment. This is a big factor in my enjoyment. And at the end of the day, I'm a selfish mf -er. Like, I'm, I'm selfish. I'll, I'll rather things be better for myself. Please, please, 2K, we need this. We need this. For a more consistent release of moments, kind of each week, bring new moments, rewind group, the skills challenge section. These challenges have me complete lineup. Requirements, best thing, win conditions, yada, yada. Look for this group Wednesday. Look for this group each Wednesday with new rewards to improve your my team or fill out, tro and to fill out trophy case. Okay, so every Wednesday, it's looking like we're going to get a moments, like basically moments of the week. That's cool. I like that. I like that. How many collections you completed? Trophy gives 15 earned. Uh, also, provide season two, we're going to have more options to complete a trophy case. Factor with 10 more centerpiece exchanges. Okay, so if you got your five, you're going to have a dark matter. And considering I'm probably going to get like eight next season, I'm probably going to get eight out of 10. I'm going to get four. I'm, I'm only going to get three this season. I'm not going to be able to complete. I was like, I have not completed clutch time. I'm going to have to complete clutch time offline tonight for a chance at that. Like, to get cards, they will need to be 15, whatever it is what it is. With the prospect of running into Dark Matter, my team is right, is right to intimidate, knowing that adding all these centerpiece cards to my team will give every opportunity to complete trophy case. To start season two, you can look forward to theme 
themes for our season cards season two select cards will return but rather repeating volume one each bi-weekly drop will be uniquely themed halloween theme cards i like it i like it make the make the friday and tuesday promos be like the big promos and then like have an overarching other promo cards in the packs i like the idea man <laughs> i like the idea buy a weekly drop and some halloween theme remember these cards will leave the market in two weeks on november the 4th and all these Cards will be once again have a completion for new reward players. Okay, so there's going to be a Halloween basketball. There's going to be a Halloween basketball right here. So, anyway, let's break it down. Devin Booker, going to be a freaking beast. Devin Booker's release, it's not as good as base four last year, but it's a nice release. So, Devin Booker is going to be elite. Um,. These other cards on the way, I mean, they're just cards. This, an L. A big, big L. But not even a big L. Nobody used Horace Grant, so I couldn't give it that. It's it's not a good thing, but it's not something that affects the game in any way for anybody. Um, Getting back to modern NBA. Now, this. This is interesting. Like, if you're out here going to be able to get a Dark Matter for completing all the game modes, like, fair play. Fair play. Judging by the fact that level 40 is a pink diamond where i'm telling you we're not going to even see an opal in packs and being able to run a dark matter early in the year like being able to run a dark matter early in the year is mad is mad but with the 10 centerpieces i actually don't even think i'm gonna get jimmy first of all i'm gonna get jimmy and then i'm gonna say screw it i couldn't care less like like dr j is great don't get me wrong don't get me wrong, Dr. J is like perfect stats wise. And his post game is ridiculous. As well as having the post bads. Like, Dr. J will be my guy. He will be my guy. But like, let me just go get him in season three. Let me go, let me go get Jimmy to start the season. Get me get, let me get my four centerpieces this season. And I'm cool with getting my Dr. J in like January. Not even January in December. I'm cool with getting my easy centerpieces. You know what? How much better is Dr. J than Jimmy? Is he really that much better than Jimmy Buckets? Plus 168. 35 standing dunk. Look, he's not that much better than Jimmy. He's not that much better than Jimmy, lads. Jimmy better on defense. Post game, they're basically the same. Sure, Dr. J is a be way better shooter. He is a clamp breaker. Dr. J is like a better Clyde. Jimmy's just Jimmy. So like, I'm I'm happy with just having Jimmy because at the end of the day, Alex English is run is run the damn show at the two guard position. English run the damn show. So I'm probably gonna just go and get like I don't know. I'll probably go and get myself worthy short for short term gain. I think I'll go and get myself worthy for short term gain, Jimmy, and then probably stick to the Eastern. I'll have worthy and then I'll stick to the Eastern Conference. So I get four this season. I get eight next season, and one of them's a Western Conference player. That gives me 12 um, total. And then I can boom to start season. To start season three, gives me like four centerpieces to get, which I could probably get by Christmas. Um, and I'll have my Dr. J at Christmas. I'm in no rush, lads. I'm in no rush. I didn't rush for Jimmy. Um, I could have chose not to. I'm like 130 games off in TT offline. I just need to complete the other two modes because as of right now, I got two centerpieces. But yeah, this is a cool new thing. This, good. Objectively speaking, there is no player that this is bad for. As long as these cards are not all scrubs, even if they are all scrubs, base set cards were all scrubs last year and so were season one cards, season two cards. Worst case scenario, this is nothing. Best case scenario, these cards are good. This, you know what, if you wanted to grind, fair play. Fair play, you're a better man. If you get your Dark Matter, you're a better man than me. I'll admit it. I'm not going to complain about pacing in the game. Level 40 is a, is a pink time. We're not getting Opals and Paxil Season 3. This is like back in the day when if you got like David Robinson or Penny Hardaway or uh, Grant Hill in 2K20 or Wilt in 2K19. If you really wanted to grind the game at the start, you can get your early 99 overall cards. Um, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, we can't forget a week into NBA 2K17, like, guys had Tim Duncan 99 overall. Um, but the moments challenges, that's where 
that's where I think this could be really good. The moments challenges are what's going to separate this season from what we had last season. Boy, well, yeah, this season. My prediction when it comes to um, these is that we're going to get a lot more Wiggins type takeovers. Maybe Kai's not as good as Wiggins. Because Wiggins is a beast. But like Wiggins is not a perfect card. I think we're going to consistently get like 6 to 7 out of 10 cards. That will make every like budget player's teams every Tuesday. I think the Friday rewards aren't going to be quite as good. Or maybe they will be almost the exact same. It's just they'll still be like diamonds. I don't know what they're going to do when it comes to the Friday rewards. Um, because that is kind of interesting. Because you just never know. Um, you just never know what they're going to. Uh, what way they're going to do it. But I don't think it's going to be 130, 35 games again. I think that was just too much. I think they realized it was too much. It was just a decision that was made early that they can't really change. But anyway, I'm hyped. I'm looking for. I'm not. I'm not hyped. I'm looking forward to it. It's a new batch of content. It's some new things to do. And it's a way of refreshing the mode. Season one ended pretty well. It had, it started pretty okay. And then it had three of the worst, three of the darkest weeks in my team. The three darkest weeks in my team we've seen since like Christmas last year. See, almost season eight bad. Um, then good two weeks. A good two weeks. I think from, from English onwards, when they started giving us a better chance of getting centerpieces again, I wasn't that upset. I was not that upset. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.